As we celebrate Women's History Month, we want you to meet a legend of Chicago architecture. Carol Ross Barney recently won the highest award given by the American Institute of Architects. She calls it a shining light for Chicago and for women in their field. Our Maurice Avedra recently caught up with Barney and talked about her work and her vision. When I'm drawing a building, I forget where I am. I lose track of time. And if you can find something like that, you really are luckier than most people. Carol Ross Barney's success might have a little to do with luck, but it has a lot to do with her love of architecture and the city where she was born, Chicago. I think the great ideas happen in the city. Barney discovered design as a child. I always loved to make things, making environments. It was here at Regina Dominican High School in Wilmette that Barney decided on her career and told a guidance counselor. I said, sister, I think I want to be an architect. And she looked at me and she said, OK, I'll find out what colleges you should apply to. She didn't tell me that girls didn't become architects or that there wouldn't be other women in the class. I went to the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. In the fall of 1966, my class was 300 and there were 12 women. <laughs> Barney told me that while those numbers have improved, architecture can still be a tough field for women. People say, well, should a girl be an architect? Should a woman be an architect? Of course. It's connected to construction. Some people think that's hard to think about. You know, are you going to be out in the field where they're building? Yeah, you are. Barney's projects help communities, schools on the city's south and west sides, CTA L stations designed with easy access, and then there's her crown jewel, the Chicago Riverwalk. I am amazed about the river walk, how um, it's become important to people in their lives. We changed the structure of the walk. We wanted it to reflect the river so you feel like you're actually maybe walking through the river. Another favorite project, this sustainable synagogue for the Jewish Reconstructionist congregation in Evanston. Members say Barney cared. She listened, you know, she, she sat down, she wanted to know who we were, she wanted to know about us. Carol is brilliant and she got it. The sanctuary is on the third floor. It's very light filled. They have this big window and it overlooks the treetops. You feel like you're in God's sunlight. It feels like this really wonderful, outlooking, hopeful space. Perhaps the most poignant project, the Oklahoma City Federal Building, designed after the Murrah Building was destroyed in a terror attack in 1995. Barney took the time to meet with survivors. Hearing their stories and trying to make a building that felt secure and open really became our goal. It was an important job for me personally. After decades of magnificent work, Barney will be awarded the American Institute of Architects 2023 Gold Medal in June. Even though I knew that I was being considered, I mean, it's like, oh my God, you know, how did I get here? And so that was quite thrilling. I'm the first living woman to win it as an individual. I think that's important. It's making a crack in the ceiling. And I, I hope there's a lot more women who win it now. So what's next for Carol Ross Barney? She hopes even more opportunities to create incredible spaces. So yeah, more. Give me more. I need more. Marisa Vedra, CBS 2 News. That need more. Carol Ross Barney also teaches at the Illinois Institute of Technology. There is more. She tells her students, both women and men, they have to find what they love.